All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday evening Powerful Flow class. I'm really glad you were able to make it. Um, today's practice is focused on balancing and back bending. So there's going to be lots of back body strengthening to allow for that opening through the chest as we back bend, and also balancing, which is not directly tied to back bending, though there all are some balancing poses that are also back bends, but mostly balancing requires like next level mental focus. If you are standing on one foot and your mind starts to wander, you wobble and fall down. So it's a way to really ground ourselves here in this practice, staying really focused in this moment, and also a chance to practice self-patience and self-compassion because some days are just harder to balance than others for no real reason other than because. Um, so if that's something that you are experiencing today, I invite you to embrace that as part of the challenge. Uh, noticing that being frustrated at yourself for making mistakes doesn't make it any easier to perform better. So just a small note for all of us, especially myself. Uh, so if you have one block for class, that would be a helpful prop. Um, I have two. If you have two, that's great. And we're going to get started in a seated position. So the playlist is in the chat box. If you want to follow along, I'm going to go ahead and press play right now. And then meet me in your favorite seated position. We're looking for a long, tall spine and hips rooting down towards the ground. So if sitting on a block helps you get there. Go for it. Settle yourself in, resting your hands somewhere comfortable. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you or find a soft gaze downward. And begin by taking a couple deep breaths in and out, letting the body relax and arise. Feel your sit bones rooted down into the ground. Notice the length of your spine pulling upward. And begin by simply paying attention to the movement of the breath. Without doing anything special, anything different with the breath. Sense the possibility of relaxing with the breath. Maybe you imagine the in-breath is like a balloon inflating, filling up, receiving. And with the out-breath, sense of letting go, releasing. And as you breathe, you might notice there are places in your body that are wanting to let go, that naturally release right now. Letting go in the shoulders, softening the hands, relaxing the belly. Just continuing to relax with the movement of the breath here for a few more moments. And if your mind starts to drift away with thoughts, you notice that drifting. And gently guide yourself back to your body, to your breath landing softly. And it's from this gentle, wakeful presence that we'll carry through with the rest of our practice. Let's take three big breaths together to begin. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, relaxing the shoulders, the face. Another big breath in, expanding. 
And a big breath out, relaxing. One more like that, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, blink your eyes open. We're gonna make our way flat onto our bellies, finding Sphinx pose. You can take your time getting there. Resting flat on your belly, your arms like the number 11 in front of you, shoulders over elbows. Legs can be as wide as feels good on the mat, but let your hips be heavy. Gently tug your elbows back towards your rib cage to gently open up through the chest. Fingers are wide, gently gripping at the mat. And from here, we're gonna find some gentle movement with the neck and also an eye stretch. A yoga teacher I love on Instagram did like a quick eye stretch exercise and it changed my life the other day. So you're gonna gently move your head towards the left, but move with your eyes. So you're gonna see me do some truly crazy eyes. You're like bugging out your eyes, breathe in. <laughs> and as you exhale, guiding with your eyes, turn your chin towards the right. Eyes are wide, you look crazy, it doesn't matter. Another one, breathe in, come to center, leading with the eyes. Exhaling, turning towards the left. Find two more rounds of this. If you're like, what are you talking about with the eyes? Find a way to stretch your eyes. I find bugging out my eyes is really doing the trick. One more full round, just to try it. <laughs> Carl's laughing at me. Nice, all right, next time you return to center, we're gonna do the same thing, but just gently moving the chin up, again, leading with the eyes, they're kind of cross-eyed, it's all good. And then down, chin tucks toward the chest. Three rounds of this, nice and slow, leading with the eyes, stretching, giving yourself the opposite of screen time eyes. Still engage gently through the upper back. Elbows are working. Upper back might be getting a little warm. One more round, you're doing great. Good, all right. Now gently relax all the way down onto your belly. Arms slide down, palms towards your lowest ribs. Cricket your elbows behind you. We're gonna move through a few sets of cobra here. Start with the pelvis, push your hips down. Feel your back start to engage. Cricket your elbows behind you. Imagine you're pinching a quarter between your shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, lift yourself straight up. Keep breathing here for a few moments. Glutes start to engage. Visualize the muscles all along the length of your spine, each of them engaging, working, holding you here. A few more breaths, gaze straight down in front of you and a few inches ahead so the back of your neck is long. Breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down, forehead kisses the mat. Let's move three times with the breath. Inhale, cobra, peel your heart up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, push your hips down. Exhale, lower down, last one. Breathe in, cobra pose, lift your heart up and forward. Exhale, lower down. Good, press yourself back to child's pose. Hips sink back towards your heels, fingertips crawl forward. You have five breaths here to find whatever you need, maybe stillness, maybe you crawl the fingertips side to side. Two more full rounds of breath. Uh, gently press yourself up to tabletop position. Start to find some cat and cow. So as you inhale, dropping the belly, dragging the heart forward. As you exhale, rounding and curling, pushing the earth away, launching your heart up through your upper rib cage, finding a movement with the breath between these two shapes. See if you can make your breath last longer than the movement for four more rounds. A 
nice and slow, unhurried. Good, one more round, inhale, finding cow pose. And exhale, cat. Nice job, come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands forward about a handprint, tuck your toes, breathe in. And as you exhale, lift your hips up, find downward facing dog. Good, first five breaths here are yours. Pedaling out through the legs, maybe moving the hips gently side to side. Waking up in a way that feels good to you. Gently slide your shoulder blades down your back, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Take a big breath in. And an open mouth exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, tiptoe forward, moving nice and slow, tiptoeing your way to ragdoll as slow as you can. When your hands and feet meet, relax your torso down, let your head hang super heavy here. Finding whatever you need, whatever your body is asking for, maybe twist, maybe a chest expansion, maybe just stillness. Bend your knees a little more generously. Stick your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths here. Can you relax your neck more? Good, release the bind if you have it. Bring your toes a little closer to touch. Bring your hands to your hip creases. Bend your knees, lift yourself up to standing nice and easy. Good, clasp your hands behind your back. Just for a moment, we're going to find a little chest expansion and some more movement with the neck. So hands are clasped behind you. Keep your glutes firm and just find a little right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Let this movement be organic and natural, checking in with the sides of the neck, front and back. Couple more breaths here. Good, all right, release your bind. And we're gonna find mountain pose at the front of the mat. So we're gonna focus on grounding through the feet, especially now while both feet are still on the ground, which will become very helpful later as we start to do one leg balancing things. So keep your feet as wide as you need to, spread your toes wide, grip at the mat with your feet. And take a moment to just shift weight from side to side, really noticing the earth beneath you. Find stillness and equal weight down through both feet. And as you envision that you're growing roots down through the bottoms of your feet, can you draw energy up your legs, firming through the glutes, hugging the core in tight, lengthening through the side bodies as you breathe and reach your arms up high. Two breaths here, feeling rooted and strong, noticing your feet against the earth. Inhale, find a back bend, lift your heart up, maybe cactus your arms. Gently push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes for support. Take one more breath in. Exhale, standing cat pose, arch your back. Maybe your hands go palms facing forward in front of you. If that's too much on the arms, just keep the hands out like zombie arms. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, back bend, squeeze your glutes, lift your heart. Exhale, standing cat. Nice job. Inhale, mountain, reach straight up. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees, come down. Inhale, lift halfway through the spine. Exhale, high plank and pause. Plant your hands shoulder width distance, step straight back. Now two options today, one would involve holding high plank. The other involves moving on to take cobra pose as an alternative to chaturanga dandasana. If you're staying in high plank, hug your hands and feet towards each other. 
to light up your whole body and engage your legs more purposefully to help support the weight of your body. If you're moving in, breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Invitation to drop to your knees first. Palms stay right where they are. You can keep your toes tucked or go toenails down. Inhale, cobra pose, lift your heart. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll flow through now twice, matching breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, fold forward. Push your feet down, inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart, legs stay strong. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, standing cat. One more like that. Inhale, back bend, lift your heart. Exhale, standing cat pose. Nice job. Inhale, mountain, spine is neutral. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank to your belly or hold high plank. Inhale, cobra if you're taking it. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time through, move with your breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Two of these. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, standing cat. Inhale, back bend. Broaden your collarbones. Exhale, standing cat. Inhale, mountain, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and hold or to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Inhale, high plank, rock straight forward. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Pause and breathe here. Let's intensify just a little. Push your pelvis down. Drag your palms back towards your hips to light up your upper back. Think about spreading your collarbones even wider. Keep the back of your neck long, breath in. Exhale, lower down. We'll add on twice from there. Inhale, cobra, peel your heart up. Now option here to keep holding cobra here or for a little more action in the shoulders, bring your hands out to a goal post. Good, and as you inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull down. These are like imaginary lat pulls. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, goal post arms. You got three more. You're doing great. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goal post. Good. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, reach. You got it. Exhale, lower. And relax your forehead down. Nice job. All right, last ones are some super women's. A strong back enables us to have an open heart. So arms go straight out in front of you. And from here, we will first lift the feet. So toes come up off the ground this time. Before we lift the arms, feel the glutes engage. See if you can light up your inner leg line. So using your inner thighs to lift your legs here too. Think about lifting your legs from the front of your hips. And you can add on either lifting one arm at a time, maybe both, but you're here, you're kind of floating on your tummy, maybe you're rocking a little back and forth. No balancing is ever static, so this is a push and pull. You're doing the best you can, your best is good enough. You're here for four, for three, for two, and one lower, everything down to the mat, good. Inhale, high plank or tabletop, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog, good. 
Now we've got the core a little warm. We're ready to move on to our sun B, where some more one leg balancing begins. Inhale, kick the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose or side to chest. Good. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through nice and easy. Good, big transition here. We're moving to one leg mountain. You might stop by wiggling, start by wiggling the left foot up, hugging it into the chest, and then with control, lifting yourself up to stand. Good. Anchor the right foot down into the ground. Left leg has three right angles. Thigh is parallel to the ground, knee, and then ankle directly under the knee, toes flex back. Reach your fingertips up high, engage your core. You can stay here or you can take two movements together with us. If you're moving on, breathe in. Exhale, curtsy squat, hands to heart center, left toes go back and around. Maybe they rest on the ground, maybe they hover. Use your right hamstring and glutes to stabilize you here. Good, inhale, one leg mountain, come back up. Exhale, standing figure four, cross left ankle over right knee, hips sink back, hands to heart. Good, still working right glute, right hamstring here. Inhale, one leg mountain, come to stand. Exhale, float back to crescent lunge, left goat toes go straight back. Good, take a moment here to become firm in your stance, hands to your hips, move left hip more forward, right hip more back. Strong lunge in the front knee, back glute squeezes for support. Reach your hands up high. Inhale, find a back bend, whatever works for you. Squeeze the back glute, open up your throat, your chest. Breathe out here. Good, inhale, come to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, inhale, warrior two. Spiral open, adjust your legs as you need to. Front knee stacks confidently over the front ankle. Back leg is working too. Arms go straight out at your sides. Gently pinch your shoulder blades together behind you to open up your heart. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Right arm reaches forward and down, left arm high. Keep both legs working here. Keep your core tight. See if you can lift your heart here. Bring your left shoulder a little bit more back. One more breath in, you're doing great. One more breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg. Stretch all the way from your right big toe out through your right fingertips, inhale. As you exhale, low lunge to high plank, step back. Option to stay here or lower down to cobra. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Let's go on the left side, nice and slow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, thigh to chest, drop your hips low. Good. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. You'll hug the right leg up and into the chest, moving towards one leg mountain as you breathe in. Take your time. Take a moment here to set up. This is home base. Left foot pushes down into the ground. Right leg is strong and steady. If someone came to knock you down, they wouldn't be able to. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you wanna move on, breathe in. Exhale, curtsy, squat, sink back, 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 then toes out to the side, so strong. Lengthen your spine here, reach the crown of your head up and forward. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, standing figure four across right ankle over left knee. Sit further back like you're reaching for a tiny kindergarten chair. Gaze at something non-moving on the floor in front of you. Inhale, one leg mountain, come back up. Exhale, crescent lunge, step back with control. Good, bring your hands to your hips. You're here, you're breathing, finding a strong and stable foundation. Left hip moves back, right hip moves forward. Squeeze the back glutes, inhale, back bend. Lift your heart up, squeeze the back glute more. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, warrior two, spin open. As you exhale, stay here, breathe. 
Find a powerful activation through both legs. Heels hug towards each other. Core turns on, hugs up and in. Fingertips go long and wide, breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. You can choose if you brace your left arm against your left thigh for a little more twist support. But notice how that turns on the inner left thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job, inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the front leg. Find a side bend, not a back bend here. Breathe in. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down. Step back to high plank. Option to stay or lower to cobra. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna flow through now just once on each side. It'll be a slightly slower flow than usual to make time for safe and mindful transitions with the balancing. Find something non-moving on the floor as we move on one leg to help you keep your focus. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, thigh to chest. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift your left leg, good. Exhale, curtsy squat. Inhale, one leg mountain, you got it. Exhale, figure four, good. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, step back, good. Inhale, back bend, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your core on. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high plank to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, side to chest, you got it. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift the right leg. Good. Exhale, curtsy squat, you got it. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, standing figure four. Good, inhale, one leg mountain and one. Exhale, float the right foot back. Inhale, back bend, keep your legs strong. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high plank down to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, lower to your knees. You can grab a sip of water. Awesome job. We've got a little setup, stretching and strengthening set, and then we're gonna do one more complete set of a balancing exercise. And then we'll stretch and be done. How are you doing? My one pupil gave me a thumbs up, so. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> All right. This next um, little sequence is going to involve us standing on our knees. So if you have sensitive knees and you want to grab a blanket or a pillow, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that up top. You can also double fold, triple fold, quadruple fold your mat to give you a little bit more cushion. That's the word. And if you have your block, bring it near you now. Put it on your right side. We're gonna to go to gate pose with the left leg outstretched first. So you're standing on your right knee, left leg is out, side of the foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. This block is over here. You might not need it, I don't know why I told you that. We'll figure it out. As you breathe in, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend towards your extended leg. Big stretch for the right side body. Gently firm both of your glutes. So from that stability in the hips, you can lengthen both side bodies. 
Relax your shoulder away from your ear. Breathe in. And as you exhale, cartwheel your arms down. You're gonna re, you don't need this block. I don't know why I told you that, I'm sorry. You're gonna plant your arm or your fist onto the earth. This is modified side plank. You're welcome to stay here. We're gonna do a little leg action. So lift the left leg up so it's parallel with the rest of your body or as much as you're able to. Good, flex your toes back towards your shin. All of the glutes are working here. You might stay like this, reaching your arms long, kicking your left foot out to the side for a little more, breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee, find a crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch, we got three more, you're doing awesome, inhale. Exhale, good, breathe in. Breathe out, last one, inhale. And exhale, crunch, and then release your foot down. Find a big side stretch. Reach your left arm overhead. Good. Then swoop the left arm forward, finding forward fold with your left leg out, just for a couple breaths. Good, and then walk yourself back up to standing, and we'll switch legs. So standing on the left knee this time, adjust your cushion setup if you'd like to. Good, right leg goes out long. Hips are over, knees, hips over one knee. Breathe and reach high. Exhale, bend to your right. Opening through the left hip. Lengthening left hip, lengthening left side bodies. Relax your shoulder away from your ear. Can you lengthen the right side? That's the side that might feel a little crunched. What would lengthening there feel like? Breathe in. And as you breathe out, cartwheel your arms down, left hand or fist to the floor. And again, you know what's coming, so maybe on this side you wanna stay here. Just work the big side stretch for a little more. You can lift the right leg up. Glute is engaged, whole right thigh is engaged. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Left glute is working. Reach your right arm up high. Maybe you stay here for more, breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Nice job, inhale. Exhale, we got two more. Inhale with control. Exhale, crunch, last one. Inhale. And exhale, good. Relax the right foot down. Find a big side stretch, reaching the right bicep over the right ear. And then swooping down forward, sending your hips back. Finding a stretch that feels good here. Good, press yourself up to standing on both knees and make your way to downward facing dog. That was a preview of half moon pose, which is one of the balancing poses we'll be playing with here. If you do have your block, keep it up at the front middle of your mat. Sorry that I didn't tell you that before you went to down dog. Okay, good. so downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, warrior two, spin the back foot down, reach your arms wide. Exhale, extended side angle. From here, we'll go into half moon, start to bring the left leg up parallel to the floor, straighten the right leg. You can keep one hand on your block. You can keep a hand on your hip if that helps. Maybe you reach the left arm high. You're here for two more breaths. You're doing great. Good, breathe in. And exhale, step back. Find reverse triangle, stretching through the right side body. And then just lift to center. Face all toes to point forward. Oh no, sorry guys. Whew. Doing great, okay. From here, we're going into 
one leg mountain. Sorry, my, I can't read my handwriting. You're gonna lift the left leg up. A familiar transition. Your option is to stay here or to find dancer's pose. For dancers, kick your left foot towards your left glute. Reach the right arm high. The kick of your foot is what drives this balancing back bend. Maybe you start to play with it, kicking, kicking, kicking the left foot into the hand. And rather than reaching or tipping yourself forward, you are reaching your top arm up and back, creating a back bend, a lifted heart, you're here for two more breaths. Good, gently release. Dancer, come back to one leg mountain. And as you exhale, step straight back. Good, inhale, back bend. Exhale, lizard pose. Bring both hands down onto the floor inside your right leg. From here, you have a lot of choices. You're welcome to lower the back knee down. This is whatever sorts of stretches you're looking for in either of your hips. So you can push your right leg away from you to open up through the right hip. Maybe you bring your hands or your forearms onto that block in front of you. If you're looking for a quad stretch today, kick your, le your left heel towards your glute. This might be enough. If you want more, you can reach the right arm back, grab for the foot. Three more breaths here. Let's start to make your way back to an active lizard lunge, both hands on the mat. Lift the left leg, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we'll do that on the other side here. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, half moon. Walk the right foot closer to the left. Maybe you find your block lifting the left leg or the right leg up in line with the body. Find something non-moving to focus your attention on. Keep your extended legs strong. One more breath. Gently step the right foot back down. Find reverse triangle, straightening the left leg. Then come back to center. Turn to face the front, all toes point to the front of the mat. From here, step into one leg mountain, lifting the right leg. You're welcome to stay here. For dancer's pose, kick the right heel towards the right glute. Lift the left fingertips high. This doesn't have to be a huge movement for your body to be getting its benefits. Start to kick the foot into your right hand. Maybe the foot starts to lift, this back bend starts to form. Maybe today it's a struggle to stay balancing on one leg. Work with what's happening. Bring the breath. Two more full rounds here. You got it. Go ahead, start to make your way back to one leg mountain, nice and easy. Breathe in. Exhale, step back to crescent lunge. Inhale, back bend, squeeze the back glute. Exhale, lizard lunge or runner's lunge. Both hands come to the earth in front of you. Settle into whatever version of the shape your body is asking for here. You have five breaths. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Add two more rounds. Good. Start to make your way back to an active lizard lunge. Hands inside your foot. Lift the back leg. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Lower to your knees. All right. So we're going to do stargazer flow to open up across the chest 
and then camel pose, which is our big heart opener of class that we have been building up to this whole time. So if you have your blocks, bring them onto either side of your ankles. You're kind of sitting on your heels. Some people like to do child pose legs. For some people, it's not comfortable to come all the way down. So these are here to help you as you reach backwards. It's easier to see this way. Here we go. All right, so let's start on the left side. Bring your left hand to the block on your left side. And as you breathe in, reach the right arm up and back towards the back left corner of the room. So you are firm through the glutes, lifting, lifting up through the sternum. Take another breath in here. And as you exhale, come back down or come to center. Right hand on the right block. This time, inhale, swoop the left arm up and back. Pushing the hips forward, supporting the low back through an engaged core, firm glutes, relax your shoulder away from your ear, inhale, exhale, come down, let's flow twice, left hand on the left block, inhale, exhale, come down, right hand on right block, breathe in, breathe out, come back down. Left hand on left block, inhale. Exhale to center, last one. Right hand, right block, breathe in. And breathe out into center. All right, for camel pose today, I invite you to keep one block squeezed between your thighs. This helps keep your whole core engaged to so you protect your low back. So standing on your knees, double folding your mat as you need to, bring your palms to the small of your back, just above your sacrum, that flat part right above your butt, and pinch your shoulder blades together, cricket your arms behind you as much as you can to be opening across your heart already. Squeeze the block between your thighs. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you start to trace the, your gaze up and back, keeping your heart broad, pushing your hips forward. Take big open mouth breaths here. This is huge heart opener. The strength of your back is supporting you here. You have two more rounds, you got it. Gently come back to standing on your knees. Sink down, bring both hands to rest on your heart. Blink your eyes closed. Notice the effect that shape had on your body. Good, blink your eyes open. And make your way to kind of a seated cross-legged position on the mat. If this is uncomfortable for you to sit this way, you can do really, really loose legs in front of you. This is a stretch now for the low back, which has done a lot of work for us today. Um, do your left foot cross in front of the right this time. So for this, wiggle any flesh out from underneath your butt so that you can really scoot your hips back. And you might just gently, gently walk the hands forward here. So keeping the hips pushing back, reaching forward. A couple breaths here. Gently walk the hands over towards the right. Lengthening this stretch through the left side of the low back, the left hip. Two breaths. Walk to center and then over towards the left. Stretching through the right side. Return to center. See if the body is ready to deepen any amount with the same starting stretch, really pulling the hips back in space, lengthening the chest forward. Three breaths here.
walk your hands in, bring yourself up to seated, and we'll trade out the legs and do that again. So right leg crosses in front of the left this time, adjust as you need to, think about sending the hip back, lengthen your spine long, crawl on your fingertips forward. This is really challenging for you on the other side. You might bring a block nearby to rest your forehead on instead. Couple breaths here, just noticing how this is different than the shape on the other side. Draw your fingertips over towards the right, noticing what this stretch feels like. Come to center, crawl over towards the left. Invite a conscious softening to your whole body. Call back to center, check in with the shape after spending some time in the stretch. Maybe the body wants to deepen, maybe not. Three breaths here. And crawl your arms in, bringing yourself to a tall seat and send both legs out long now. Give the legs a little wiggle, a little shake. And we'll find a seated forward fold with the legs out long here. So again, wiggle any flesh out from underneath you so you can send the sit bones down and back as you breathe in, reach up high. And as you exhale, drape your torso over your legs, invitation to bend your knees a lot and give yourself a hug. Whether the low back or the hamstrings are looking for more love here, Experiment with some movement or some changes in the shape until you find what feels good to you. Three more breaths. Gently roll up to the seated position and make your way flat onto your back. Couple bridge poses to round out our back bend practice here. Feet plant on the earth, knees point to the sky. Wiggle your heels a little closer to your glutes. Palms rest face down on the earth. Inhale, lift your hips. Push your feet into the ground. Feel your hamstrings, your glutes supporting you here. Wiggle your shoulder blades together underneath you to boost your heart up. Four more breaths here. Resting in the power of your legs, the openness of your heart. Breathe in, exhale gently lower one vertebrae at a time. Knock your knees in towards each other, feet out wide, broken bridge. Bring your hands onto your abdomen. Let your whole body relax, growing heavy down into the mat. And for one of the first times of all of class today, notice what it feels like to have your entire spine compressed down onto the mat. Not twisting, not bending either way. Resting here, being held by the ground. You can stay right here, or if a happy baby sounds nice to you, bring your toes up towards the sky, 
spread for the backs of your legs or your shins and find whatever it is you were looking for in this shape. about four more breaths to find a shape we haven't found together we will meet back together in broken bridge or to make your way back to broken bridge alternatively you could also find restorative bridge where your block goes underneath your sacrum I'm going to spend just a couple breaths here, cultivating that same mindful, wakeful attention that we found at the beginning of class. So find something comfortable where you can let the body start to ease. Notice the breath. With the in-breath, maybe visualizing a balloon inflating something, expanding, welcoming in fresh health, and exhaling out anything you don't want, releasing. Noticing the places where your body is making contact with the earth. Maybe visualizing roots starting to grow down into the ground, supporting you. Helping you feel safe enough to open and release with these last few moments. Releasing the shoulders, softening the hands, softening the heart, relaxing the belly. As you notice your mind drifting off, gently bring it back to this restful, aware, gentle place you're cultivating inside yourself. There's a block underneath you, gently remove it. Gently hug your knees up towards your chest. And make your way to a seated position, however slowly and easily you can. Keep your eyes soft or close, we'll end class with three big nourishing breaths together. Find a long, tall spine. Visualize this space around your heart. We've just been doing so much work to ease and open. Maybe you tap into a warmth there or you visualize a light, something glowing softly. And breathing directly to and from this space, inhale through your nose, maybe reach your fingertips up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more. Breathe in, expand and reach. Breathe out. 
last one. Big breath in, grab something for yourself. Breathe out, draw it to your heart. Draw your thumbs to third eye center, merging the wisdom of your heart with your intuition. We bow in gratitude to each other and to this practice that keeps us together when we're far apart. Namaste. Thanks for joining me this evening. I hope that you're feeling good. Um, and what am I trying to say? I feel so relaxed. There's still one more class in 2020. We will be here again next Wednesday. So if you're interested in closing out the year together, I'd love to see you. As always, I'd love to hear your feedback. If something was confusing or didn't work, or you're not sure what I was talking about, let me know. And if you have requests for things you'd like to see in the future, also let me know. Um, but until then, take really good care of yourself and I'll see you soon.